We did much, much better. Didn't That's we? right. Teacher, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit flat. Cash me in September, bish. You got no. a fucking day, clown. We'll play them on a ground with real dimensions. Real dimensions. Real dimensions. We'll dismantle them. Cats, you know, I'm so super proud. I've got a little bit of deer down my face. That meant so much to us. Yeah. They, they heard it. They uh, did hear it. Uh, go Dees. Go Daisy. You heard it, Dees. Geelong seem to only choke the games that actually matter. You know, when it's for the minor premiership or if it's in the finals or something, then they'll choke. When it's a home and away game, that means absolutely f then they decide to put on a bit of a performance. Melbourne Fan TV here with the Cotton Draft legend, Daisy Thomas, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's probably my most accurate description. I did play 258 games in some other clubs, but arguably my best performance was for the Neil Tigers. Yes, great game you played. Thank you. What about your mob tonight? What are your thoughts? I'm, gonna, uh, I'm a mutual participant in the game these days. What, are you happy? Are you concerned? Or you don't give us stuff because it's down here at GMHBA and it's an unfair advantage for the Cats? What's your honest opinion on the shit ground, <laughs> the got... shit stadium, <laughs> as in half the, half the seats? Yeah, well, I, tell you, I was the last player. I played my last game here, so I think yeah. I'm the only person in history to get a limo out of this ground. But, uh, yeah, do you want some more? or no. um, But more importantly, <laughs> the... Yeah. um. Uh, the Nathan Jones. Yeah, Jonesy, he goes around for Port, Port Arlington. Arlington Demons again, so he can't stray away from the red and blue. Um, I wish him luck. I don't wish him too much luck because I want to be the, one of the only two players that wins, so that True. makes a better story for Daisy, but I hope he goes yeah. well, has 40 touches, and they lose half of the siren. Well, they, they, they heard it. <laughs> they did hear it. Uh, go Dees. Go Daisy. Thanks, mate. What, what, do we, what, do we need to, what do we need to do that's better? We're, we're, not, we're not playing well. Uh, I think we just need to be a bit hungrier and a bit feistier. That's all I think. I mean, the fucking cats, f those Geelong pricks, f you, him, all your mates. F I just think, welcome to. Oh. Yeah, no good. <laughs> so this is Mato from the debrief. He does the podcast. Picture. I'm a little bit flat. Do I need to look at that? Just look in the barrel, mate. I want what, to look at you. you. Simon Goodwin's looking at this, mate. Tell him what you have to say. Well, Simon Goodwin's not looking at this. Yeah. Cash me in September, bish. You're going to nah. fucking die, clown. I am. Yeah, I'm a little bit flat. I need to go with my friends. Go on, mate. Go, go, on, I'm uh, go and have a cigar. A little bit and, and, just, and just forget no, no. about it. Look, at the end of the day, it's, it, I mean, we, we rocked up here. And it was round 16, wasn't it? Round 16, 17? Couldn't have cared less about this whole game. I'm just happy to get the V-line down the highway. I had a great day. So, I'll see you in September. It's Geelong, you bunch of dogs. Thank you for coming on. Album Fan TV, jeez boys. I'm going to say this every time, it's shattering, isn't it? You're a bit it's a, flat. It's a hard loss down at GMHBA. We've got the record, but... Next year we'll get him. We'll play. We'll play him on a ground with real dimensions. Real dimensions. Real dimensions and we'll dismantle them. We'll dismantle them on a real ground with real dimensions. That's why GMHBA cannot host finals because it's not a real ground. Uh, and then, then there's a construction going on as well. Mate, it's not <laughs> a real ground. It's not a real ground. It's a half a construction site. It's a joke. Uh, that's it. Well, change the ground, Geelong. <laughs> Melbourne Fan TV here with uh, Geelong. I am a Geelong supporter. How are you? You did really well today, but you just didn't bring it to the game. I'm so, so sorry, but we did much, much better. Didn't That's we? all right. Oh, you got a winch. <laughs> Melbourne Fan TV here with uh, Peter uh, from Geelong. Very good Geelong supporter. Very happy with the game. Very loyal as well. Very loyal, yeah. No, it was good. I thought it was very good that they played today. It was a good spirited game and I was pleased that the Melbourne players came over and honoured uh, Isaac Smith for his 250th. Yeah, good respect as well. Good Thanks, respect. guys. Sorry, mate. Go Cheers a lot. Thank you. Melbourne Fan TV here with... Bianca. Shattering, isn't it? Yeah. I'm shattered. Um, what do you have to say? 
Well, it doesn't count until we get to the finals, so let's just, um, with monkeys off our back now, so let's just, um, got some hard games coming up, let's get through those and yeah, get back well, on top. Let your, long, let your long ride the wave on top, like, I think they truly deserve it. Um, Cozzy, a miss set shot, miss snap, that could have changed things. Yeah. How crucial was that? Yeah, crucial. Very crucial. And what's on for tonight? Just heading uh, home Thursday yeah. night. Yep. I, I don't know why they're playing this game on Thursday night, to be honest. Should be Saturday night. Should be, you know, blockbuster crowd. It was a pretty good crowd tonight, though, wasn't it? Yeah, no, they were very vocal tonight, very loud. Yeah, that's so, it. Well, not many Ds out there tonight, but get us back to the G, we'll be right. Well, we're off to Alice next week, so uh, we, we can't get a break from the G, or we do get a break from the G, but, we, you know, finally we get a break from the G. Go Ds. Thanks for coming on. No Appreciate that a lot. Thanks, Thank you. Melbourne Fan TV here. Might have lost my voice because it's a bit cold, but anyway, my mate Geelong, mate, how was that win? Oh, bloody beautiful, mate. It's great to be on top. Um, the way we played tonight, just four quarters, everyone played beautifully. It's a shame that Tom Stewart wasn't here for the win, but, you know, our condolences go to him. But, yeah, bring on next week. Uh, what did you think at the start of the game? Did you think you were going to win or what? Of course, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, we're going to win, of course. We'll just go out there, play our best, and, yeah, we played really, really well. Sorry about my voice, everybody, but just, yeah, loved the game. All four quarters, as I said. Yeah, it was great. And uh, you're playing footy on Sunday, aren't you? Yeah, we are. We're playing against a team called Parkside down in Melbourne, so fingers crossed we can get the win. So, at Parkside? Yes, it will be down at Parkside. Tell the boys on the camera. Yep. Uh, to get down to watch you guys play. All right, guys, so I play for the Geelong Dragons. I don't know if anyone's heard of them. It's a feeder team. Uh, me and Sam Morfitt, I'm sure you guys would have heard the name. Me and him are best mates. Yeah, so come down to Parkside if you want to watch a great game of footy. My face, because that meant so much to us. Well, there you heard it. Sorry, mate? There you heard it. Yeah, that's right. Um, as I said, you know, just a big shout out goes to everyone. All the supporters here, thank you for making the effort. And yeah, go uh, go Cats, you know, I'm so super proud. I've got a little bit of a tear to tell. I'm Fan TV here with very, looks like very, hang on, where's your jumper, mate? Are you not Fans cold? Mate, I am pretty cold, mate, but I just live across the road, so. Oh, okay, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, you could around. probably, you could probably, at half time, dip out the ground yeah. and then just grab a quick jumper. No need, mate. Geelong got up. The, yes, mate. I thought the boys were wearing shorts and singlets, so, you know, try. Yeah. Try to pretend, mate. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Who was your favourite player tonight? Who tonight, played well? A lot of standouts. Guthrie, weren't mate. Guthrie, I reckon, tonight. Cool. Fuck yeah. And also throwing Atkins in the midfield. Oh, yeah. Another true. variety, another outside player. Probably I'll tell you play. what, that, as a D's fan, like the, the Geelong midfield sort of like almost tore us apart, like, you know, to shreds a little bit. They got out the front quite often and yeah, scored right. and, you know. Probably was Atkins a, was, was a difference, mate, actually. I didn't really rate him for tonight, too. And then, he, yeah, he's turned it on a bit, eh? Yeah, exactly. That Moe's got to go, though, man. <laughs> that oh, dirty Mo. Mo. Oh, does he? oh yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and lastly, Jeremy Cameron, Tom Hawkins, a little bit quiet tonight. Except, expect a big response against Carlton. Yeah, yeah, hope so. Yeah, Tommy's doing different stuff now, so yeah. And Jeremy Cameron's going up the ground as well, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not he's not cemented down the forward fifty. No, you're all over it. Yeah, no, that's a good mate. That's it, mate. I didn't that's a good to win. Melbourne fan TV here with two lovely ladies. Hot chocolates. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 um, favorite players? Uh, Petrarca, Jaden Hunt. Is it because of the long hair? I just think he's the cutest man alive. <laughs> and why Petrarca? I don't know. It's just like him playing since he came in. Like him. See ya. So, uh, will, will we, uh, how we go? How will we go? from now on we'll go better this was needed but we'll rise we'll be good I reckon we we're getting a bit too comfortable mm. so I reckon it was good yeah <laughs> any, any more losses this year or that's it no losses and we'll win the flag I reckon we'll win the flag I reckon one more loss closer to the end of the year and then we'll win the flag so <laughs> we heard it oh you yeah, heard it yeah. <laughs> You, you heard, heard it there. Oh, I thought it was here. Oh, no, you heard it there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> take two. <laughs> okay, take two. You, you heard, heard it there. there. <laughs> All right, let's kick it. Kick it. Uh, Melbourne Fan TV here with very passionate Geelong fan. Mate, what goal got you out of your seat? Oh, uh, 
probably a Stengel one. Yeah. Stengel. Stengel. He played well today, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Or Tommy. Yeah, true. What was the one thing you're happy about Geelong tonight? Oh, no, just the win. Just the win? Yeah. How did you get the win, though? Through what? Oh. Got to analyse the game, eh? The boys. Boys in the forward line. They played well, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Next week, who you got? Ah, oh, shit. Who do we have? I don't know who you got. I'm just oh, okay. asking, but maybe oh, it's a win, mate. Oh, maybe Carlton, is it? Yeah, yeah I think it's Carlton. Yeah, yeah oh. big game. Another big test at the G. Another win. That's it. That's eight straight then. Yeah, mate. Go on, you, mate. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Listen, I don't want to be harsh, but the game was putrid. Um, the stadium is an absolute shithole. The supporters of this feral club, they're all inbred, and it's all... Like, it's just, it's a shit place to come to. I hate every single thing about Geelong, but at the end of the day, the D's played shit tonight. But also, Geelong seem to only choke the games that actually matter. You know, when it's for the minor premiership or if it's in the finals or something, then they'll choke. When it's a home and away game that means absolutely fuck all, then they decide to put on a bit of a performance. But when it actually matters, they do fuck all. So we'll see them in September. At the end of the day, we pulled the Brizzy Lions pants down when everyone said that Brisbane were the next best thing. You know, we at the the the, the grand finals play at the MCG, mate. If the Cats come to the fucking G, we're kicking their fucking ass. So at the end of the day... Melbourne Fan TV here with a a couple of girls. So Geelong, yourself, yep. bit bit of rivalry yep. going about things. Are, are you guys separated, not friends, not talking for a while? Yeah, I don't think me and Isla will talk for a while. She's a we're both hard supporters, so you know after tonight, I don't think we can be friends. Hey, mom. Hey, there you go. Tough test winning down in Geelong, but yes, tough 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 test in Geelong. Good effort though, wasn't it? To to, to get within you know a goal or something yeah. halfway through the last. We just didn't have the legs, which is just surprising. Maybe just because after a five-day break. Yeah. Or four-day, I can't remember. Both both had five days, but anyway. Yeah, exactly. More importantly, what was the highlight of uh, the um, interviews tonight? I what liked... Uh, we, we, we liked Daisy. I think we both oh, agreed the Daisy, Daisy was Yeah, good. the Daisy. Yeah, Daisy was very good. And um, what about yourself? Yeah, I agree with the Daisy one. Uh, and also the... Um, you heard it right there. That's it, that's or it. was it, you heard it, I don't know where. But we might have, do we have a video next week at Sporting Globe at Richmond? Might. Stay tuned. You heard it there. Hey, well done, mate. All right.